I am Amber and this is a day in the life of a teen mum. I'll wake up, usually by Brooklyn being the alarm, and we would go downstairs, I'll change his nappy, we'll chill for a bit and then I'll make breakfast for him and myself. Just some cereals, some toast, but there are, there are odd few days where I might go the extra mile and make some egg, sausage, beans, bacon, all that lot. And Brooklyn would probably have that with me, we'd just sit down and eat it together. It's so cute, you know. Depending on weather, we'll we kind of like to see how the day goes, you know. So if it's rainy, we probably would stay in, have a chill day, watch like a movie, or go watch uh, a few cartoons. Or if it's nice weather, we'd get ready and then we'll go out for a nice little walk. Um, whether it's to the park, or to the beach, or on the pram, or just in the local town. We tend to play a lot, don't we? We'll chase each other around the house, whether it's crawling, <coughs> whether it's crawling, or playing dinosaurs, or even zombies. Uh, Brooklyn has his own little train track, um, so sometimes we set that up, it does cause a massive mess and havoc with him, because when I put it away, he screws the house down. So where Brooklyn is standing right this minute is actually his north corner and every time he has a little huff and puff I tend to put him in that corner just so he kind of gets used to what is wrong and what is not wrong whereas if he does something good he gets cuddles, he gets a high five, he gets kissed. Let me get, let me get. You've had your time in the north corner now you're good aren't you? <laughs> yeah? <laughs> Are you good boy now? No! But the best part of the day is when you actually get to sit down and just spend time with him by just cuddling and kissing him, stroking his back and tickling him and spending time with your, your child because they're not always going to be children forever, you know. One day they're going to be 18 years of age, finding a little girlfriend, moving out, finding a job, driving your own car, aren't you? You're not going to be little Brooklyn for long. Usually, when I put Brooklyn into bed around 8 o'clock so you, like with his bedtime I kind of have to lie with him until he falls asleep which then actually makes me fall asleep but sometimes I actually have early nights um, thanks to Brooklyn and like the next morning I'll just wake up so much fresher 